Hello, my beautiful friends. I hope you're doing amazing. Today, we're going to be decluttering my bronzers, if that's something you'd be interested in. Hi, if you're new here, my name is Audrey. Thank you so much for being here. Please consider subscribing down below before you leave. We talk about makeup over here. I'm just a mom who loves makeup, and that's what we do. And if you're returning, hi, hello, welcome. I love and appreciate you, and let's get started. Oh, um, real quick, if you're interested in any of the makeup that I talk about today, everything is always linked down in the description box. Some of those links are affiliated links, and that just means if you choose to shop through them, I get a small commission, but it always goes straight back into my channel. Thank you so much if you choose to do that. And hit that notification bell so you get notified every time I upload videos. This is in my declutter series, and more will be coming if you enjoy videos like that. And yeah, okay. Let's get to the declutter. All right, now we are going to declutter my bronzers. Starting off oh, with these, I just recently picked up the Tower 28. This is the Sculptino in Broad. Oh, this has my bronzers and contours in it. Yes, so this is the Sculptino in Broad and the Bronzino in Suncoast. I'm going to do a full face of Tower 28. Have not tried these on my face yet, but heard good things, so keeping those. Um, this has become one of my holy grails. This is the Surratt um, Artiste Bronzer. I have my sh in the shade Soleil Do. Do? Do? Oh. Absolutely incredible formula. So good. Blends like a dream on the face. Absolutely love, love, love this Surratt bronzer. So good. I always forget to swatch the first one. <laughs> this is the bronzino which is like a, a radiant bronzer it's really cool um it's like got a little bit of a radiant to it radiance to it which i think will look really awesome with the sculptino um which feels i mean it feels awesome but it just feels a little a little different i'm excited i'm excited to try those can you see it okay cool next um, I'm going to keep my Gucci bronzer. This is uh, in the shade Eclat Soleil 01, um, I think. I love, love this bronzer. It's incredible. It's a really, really beautiful, um, like, fair skin bronzer. It's got almost like a rosiness to it. It's so wonderful. Love it. Love the packaging. So good. Keeping it. Um, This is, let's see. Oh, this is the Rose Ink Cream Bronzer in Parrot K. And it's just a little, it's a cream bronzer, but it's it's pretty like a cream to powder formula. I just never use it. It's not bad. Um, it's very pigmented, obviously. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and pass this along to somebody who would love it a little more. So decluttering the rose ink. Um, this is the House Labs bronzer. Absolutely love this. The Power Sculpt Velvet Bronzer and Light Level 1. Um, House Labs has, oh my gosh, it's like a creamy powder. It's so good. I love this. House Labs has really knocked my socks off recently. I am going to keep this for sure. Um, this is the LYS bronzer it's a little dusty this is the shade no limits the matte this is the lys no limits matte bronzer and the shade motivate which is their light shade it's just a powder bronzer and um it just doesn't wow me it's a little bit patchy and i have others i prefer so i'm going to go ahead and pass along the lys um let's see Bronzers. We're on bronzers. We'll stick with bronzers. Um, this is my Westman Atelier Beauty Butter Powder Bronzer in the shade Coupe de Soleil. Um, absolutely love this. And I mean, it is good. I love it a lot because it's Westman Atelier. It is a beautiful formula. It almost has a little bit of that rosiness to it. Um, kind of like the Gucci, but not as much. It isn't super pigmented, so I really have to dig into it. Um, actually, it might be getting a little bit of a hard pan, which is, I mean, my fault. But it is a gorgeous formula, and it is Westman Atelier, so I'm going to hold on to it. Oh, 
this is the Makeup by Mario. So this is a Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Perfector in light. And I hardly ever reach for this. It's like he made this one to go on top of his absolutely incredible bronzer, the um, Soft, Sculpt, Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Enhancer. This is immaculate if i need a fast easy bronzer i mean this is what i use it's so so good so good i love this cream bronzer but i never use the skin perfector so i yeah i think i'm gonna go ahead and keep the incredible skin enhancer and declutter the skin perfecter. Yep, someone else will use it more. And I love that. I want someone else to use the makeup. <laughs> um, let's see. This is the LYS Cream No Limits Bronzer in the shade Motivate. I, I don't like this. I don't like this. And I don't understand why so many people like it. It's really, really pigmented. It's not bad. It's not a bad formula. And for the price, it's pretty good. But I just have others that I much prefer over this. So I'm going to go ahead and declutter the LYS. Um, this is Holy Grail as well. This is the NARS Laguna Bronzing Cream in Laguna 01, which is the lightest shade they have. I love the smell of it. It's so good. It's a little bit more pigmented than the Makeup by Mario, but it's got that rosy tone to it. I hope, oh, can you see it? Um, absolutely incredible. I love this bronzer. I cannot, will not get rid of it. <laughs> it's so, so beautiful. It blends like a dream. It's so good. Um, This is the one size... Made for Shade Bronze and Sculpt Trio. I got the Medium Trio, which was probably a mistake. I uh, should have went with the Light Trio, but this has three powders that look almost the same, and I just never use this. They're, yeah. So, one, two, three powders. I am going to go ahead and declutter this. I think this will have a much better home with someone who will use it more. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Sunkiss Glow Bronzer in the shade One Fair. I love this a lot. It's almost a contour. It's kind of cooler tone. Oh, I love it. It is. It is cooler tone compared to my other bronzers. Oh, but I love it so much. It's so good. It's like a contour bronzer moment. It's a really very nice pigmented blendable cream. I love creams. I'm into it. So keeping that one. Um, this is my Pat McGrath Labs bronzer, bronze without caution, uh, skin fetish divine bronzer in the shade naked desire. Um, this is good. It's really, really nice. I mean, Pat McGrath powders. I mean, it, it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Very, very lightly pigmented. So it's super user friendly. Um, more, more, one of the more user-friendly powders that I have. So I'm going to go ahead and keep the Pat McGrath. This is the Huda Beauty Tantor Contour and Bronzer Cream in the shade Fair. And I, I never, ever reach for this. It had its moment online for sure. It's very creamy and it is not a bad cream. Honestly, it kind of reminds me shade wise of like the lys um but so there it is right there <laughs> um but i just never reach for it and i think that it would get a better home with someone else so i'm going to go ahead and declutter it um this is the victoria beckham um matte bronzing brick in warm dusk and contour sun kissed um, this is absolutely gorgeous. I really do like the combination of, um, both colors. Them mixed together is, it is really, really beautiful. Absolutely incredible bronzer contour 
just a really light powder. I love it. I love this. It's a really Victoria Beckham. The compact is very heavy and luxe. So I'm going to go ahead and hold on to that one. This big old guy is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Bronzer. I got mine in the shade 2 Medium, which was a mistake. I wish I would have got the fair option. Um, this one is just a little bit too dark and a little bit too orange for... Swatch, I'm running out of room. Um, <laughs> a little bit too dark and too orange for my skin tone. So I'm going to go ahead and declutter this one. And I have the cream that I love so very much. So if I ever want to repurchase it, I would repurchase it in the fair. I have thought about it too. I just haven't done it yet. <laughs> um, this is the Patrick Ta for the Face Cream Contour and Powder Bronzer Duo. And she's statuesque. Um, this is incredible. Patrick Ta makes incredible cream and powder formulas. Mine's getting a little old. I need to use this more. Um, where do I swatch it? <laughs> um, there's the cream and then the powder. Oh, powder is, it's, um, it's just getting a little old, but I love it so much. I'm not going to get rid of it yet. It's not its time yet. <laughs> so I'm going to keep the Patrick Ta for the face, the cream and powder bronzer duo. This is the Makeup by Mario Soft Sculpt Bronzer in the shade Light. And this is his powder bronzer. And it is, it is a really nice formula. Really, really, where am I going to swatch it? Um, right there on my finger. It's a really nice powder bronzer formula. Very user-friendly. I think Makeup by Mario makes incredibly user-friendly products. Um, but I never use it. I never reach for it. If I'm going to reach for a powder, I use my Surratt or my House Labs or my Victoria Beckham. So I am going to go ahead and declutter the Makeup by Mario. But it is a really good user-friendly option. Oh, this is my Makeup by Mario Soft Sculpt Shaping Stick in the shade Light. This is more of a um, bronzer option for me, really. It's not very cool toned. It is more of like a cream bronzer, but cream bronzer wise, it's good and a stick formula. So I am going to go ahead and keep this one. I love it. It blends wonderfully. I love it for on-the-go travel, too, because it has this little brush on the end. So I love it. I'm going to go ahead and hold on to that one. Um, this is my Merit. Um, what is this called? The Bronze Balm. Merit Bronze Balm. This is mine in the shade uh, Kinsey, I think. Q-U. <laughs> um, and I... Oh, wait right there. Um, this is the lightest shade that they have, and it is a little bit of a browner undertone. Um, I have the shade clay actually in my to-go bag, and it's a little bit more cool toned, like I prefer my bronzers. So I'm going to keep Quince uh, just for, um, uh, you know, just to have review purposes because I love Merit so much, but um, it is a really, really good good lightly pigmented cream bronzer that um, looks really great and bronzer wise i think this is the last bronzer the rest are contours we'll go through those in a minute um but this is the rare beauty uh bronzer stick in the shade happy soul and uh, um where am i gonna put it right here <laughs> um and i this is, it's more of a red tone bronzer, and um, I don't really love this the way that other people love this. I think that it's a little bit patchy, honestly, on my skin, and so for that reason, I'm going to go ahead and declutter the Rare Beauty Bronzer Stick. I know she came out with more colors, so I might consider picking up maybe a cooler toned option and seeing how that works for me, but really, I think that this is a tad bit overhyped. I'm going to go ahead and declutter that one. Let me get these swatches off my arm and we'll go through the contours. Okay, contours. This is the um, Kevin Aquan Contrast Stick in the shade Shape. And this is an incredible...
incredible formula. I love this contour stick. It is so good. It really, really surprised me. I hadn't tried anything from Kevin Aquan before, and this color for my skin tone is uh, amazing. So I'm going to keep that one. <laughs> Um, same with my Westman Atelier. This is the Face Trace Contour Stick in Biscuit. It is as good as everybody says it is. <laughs> um, both of these are absolutely incredible, very blendable, very similar, really. And I just love them. I love them. I reach for both of them. Um, incredible contours, keeping them both. Along the same vein, we have the Victoria Beckham Contour Stylus in Travertine. This is a beautiful, very small, delicate contour. Um, and uh, it is pretty expensive for what it is. All these colors are very similar. Um, and I love this. It does blend wonderfully. I probably would not repurchase it like I would the Westman Atelier or the Kevin Aquan. Um, but it is a really good, very, if you want very intricate contour, it's a good option. Um, this is the Charlotte Tilbury Contour Wand, Hollywood Contour Wand in the shade Fair Medium. It's got that little hoof. I wonder if I can get any off. Yep, there it is. Um, it is, it does look so dark, but it blends out absolutely incredible. I love this formula. It is worth all the hype that it gets. It's so good. I am going to keep this until it runs out. I don't know if I would necessarily purchase another one just because I really, really love my Kevin Aquan and my West Atelier. So I don't know. It's a good, really, really good and worth trying out if you've been curious about it. Charlotte Tilbury really did a good job with that formula. This is the KVD um, Liquid Gel Contour in the shade Fair Cool 90. And um, I did really enjoy this. I don't know if it, it, the last time I used it, it actually was a little bit patchy. And it's a little bit more brown for contour than I prefer. So I am going to go ahead and declutter the KVD um, Balm Contour. Yeah, it's just a little too orange. Um, this is the Fenty. I have been going back and forth on this one. This is the Fenty Cheeks Out Freestyle Cream Bronzer in the shade 01 Amber. And I was so excited to try this because I know so many people love this. Um, but it is, I mean, it is gray. It is gray, almost leaning kind of green. And I just... I never reach for it because it's just a little not what I prefer. <laughs> um, so for that reason, I think I will go ahead and declutter this. I've been looking at the Fenty um, the stick version because I think that I would actually reach for a stick version more than um, a than the pot. Um, and so I think I might try this. And I know that Fenty came out with a few different shades of the contour, and I think I might. Try one that's a little bit less gray, Fenty cream wise. So I'm going to go ahead and declutter that one. This is the Makeup Forever Artist Sculpt S um, in S40 S400 Precious Latte. Um, this is the only powder contour I have, uh, like actual contour powder, and I love it. I love it a lot. It's a really good, cool toned um, contour powder if I want to set any of these with a powder this is what I go in with and I love it I love how compact it is I love how you can refill it I love this keeping it and this is my Ray Dean sculpt tour liquid contour in the shade Milo and I'm not quite sure <laughs> um, my Ray Dean stuff I'm not sure if it's still good anymore really um, well, it does not smell bad, and it's coming out pretty good on the rollerball, so I'm going to go ahead and hold on to that. I love this contour. It's a really great color, and it's a nice glass packaging. I love I love it. it. It does remind me a lot of the Charlotte Tilbury. They're very similar in tone, and um, yeah, so I love having it, and I'm going to go ahead and keep that one. Okay, let me clean this out.
So powder bronzers, we're keeping one, two, three, four, five, wait, one, two, three, six, seven, seven powder bronzers. Four, five, keeping five, whoop, six, seven cream bronzers, seven cream bronzers, and one, two, three, four, five, six contour options. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten bronzers no wait nine bronzers <laughs> and two contours pretty good all right i hope you enjoyed that declutter going through my bronzer contour collection um everything that will be decluttered is going to be gifted to friends and family so that's awesome making room for new stuff and yeah <laughs> if you made it to the end of the video thank you so much i love and appreciate you give this video a thumbs up if you love videos like this and i will see you in my next one bye <coughs> oh good mike was on <laughs> uh. <coughs> Thank mm -hmm. you.